So this is a story that uh, Vinny came across, and I was disturbed by it. It was very annoying to me. Um, and is it a story about a story about women's empowerment? Yes. <laughs> um. Michigan brewery may never recover from malicious acts of vandalism. Hard to get two hundred thousand dollars out of thirteen year olds. Dirtbag Brewing owner fears there will be zero accountability for the repeated targeting of his business. Um, This is insane. Ryan Long's dream of opening his Michigan brewing business may be dashed after a group of teen vandals left $200,000 in damages on the construction site. The Dirtbag Brewing Company owner told Fox and Friends first, of course he did, right-wing fucking lunatic, Mm -hmm. on Friday he fears there will be zero accountability for the 13-year-olds accused of destroying the property he planned to open this summer. Now this is the part. They showed up three days in a row, last Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Long began. (laughs) They broke every window. How how could you possibly predict some kind of uh, like coded and and obscure pattern like that? (laughs) Yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, stay there tuesday yeah i mean it, it, i could see or at least wednesday i could see after monday thinking okay this was probably an isolated event but yeah. after tuesday yeah you gotta you're yeah. now and it took some time for him to do they had to go back three times they they broke every window every overhead door over 100 windows that were destroyed ransacked the building they destroyed a sky rack that was in the building they removed the oil cap the hydraulic lines they filled everything full of sand they destroyed a 15 passenger van that we had there to move things around and get things done and completely you know put a huge setback on the building and the project to move forward dude this these yeah some, you think these were some serious fucking kids too it's like, but i know how this happens and i've seen it happen oh, with my yeah. friends when we were kids it's it just, like it just somebody it escalates starts, quick dude man. somebody starts it the yep. mob mentality kicks in you're all of a sudden you're fucking trying to one up one up one up one up one up and next thing you know you're stuff, in like, real yeah. trouble if you get caught oh boy you're fucked there's yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's some, there's some times I still don't talk about. I remember uh, two kids that I was friends with, um, Alfred and Jimmy, at were our they two uh, cans. They were uh, they were not just regular kids. Oh, and, okay. um, they were uh, hanging out like at school. It's like seventh, eighth grade or something, and hanging out at the school like after school, and somehow ran into some kids, and the thing starts up of like let's break a window. Oh yeah, and then it turned into like just window after window, and it became a thing of like. I think it was like you know at the time this seemed insane but it was like four thousand dollars of windows oh, and yeah. we're just like god that's fucking fun. way dude and but they i i remember here like, oh. I, I wasn't there but i they told me about it later I do and that like, right now well it's like yeah there's like two other people laughing and then one guy does it and another and i know how it is you know yeah and and the worst thing that happened i remember some was fish the lack of respect you no know, some fish died oh um, because it was so cold out they broke the windows and oh. the fish got too cold and died yeah so yeah, I don't want to do that part, no. but the rest of um, it sounds absolutely fun. Oh, man. Yeah. Imagine I, me doing that right now in this red flannel. I've even had times, I remember even in my 20s. Be insane. And one of those same guys, Jimmy, I'm just going to tell a lot of his crimes tonight. <laughs> um, he, <clears throat> we were like in some like old railroad building somewhere, you know? Of course you were. And yeah, because we had That's to, what happens we wanted, that age. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to get <laughs> in there and it was like, yeah. it was actually really cool. It was like an 18, and I was trying to just appreciate it. It was like an 1800s railroad building where they used to have a switch house, you know? Okay. That they would switch the, the lines and stuff. But there were like old gun racks in there and everything. Ooh. And like, cool. cool. <laughs> Jesus. All right. And just, it was like a cool, like, you know, picture snapshot of a different time and all this old machinery and stuff. Yeah. And then I was with two of my friends. I can't remember who else was there, Jimmy and somebody. And they, somebody breaks a light bulb and then pretty soon it's completely out of control. Yeah. And I didn't even, I, I didn't want anything to do with it, but eventually I had to join in. So I'm like, well, pretty soon there's going to be nothing left, you know? <laughs> and, um, but yeah, they just started fucking bashing apart. Yeah, there's a lot of the entire place, and it just got. It's like a lot of those situations. There's just no forethought, yeah, whatsoever on what might actually happen. Yeah, once this is once that wick is fucking lit. Um, I a couple of people that I know <clears throat> might be related to uh, started a couch on fire in an alley once, and then later there were fire trucks all over, and then the building burnt down. <laughs> no shit, really. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bad one. <laughs> Just don't say what state it was in. Nope. Yeah. It's between two, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a bad um, one. I'm trying yeah. to think of other times They're where crazy. it just got completely you know, out of control. I wouldn't have condoned that type of thing, but luckily yeah. I wasn't there because I would have probably 
amplified that. Thing. So <laughs> I'm like, let's throw the couch. It's already on fire. Let's throw it inside this house or, you know, whatever. Now let's throw that building at another building. Yeah. Um, but no, um, so these kids, what, I mean, this almost struck me as one of those fake, like, uh, GoFundMe things. Oh, where like this guy probably did this shit all himself because like whatever was happening, he couldn't get the permit or the zoning or something. And was like, <laughs> yeah. his idea wasn't working out. He's like, well, we got one play here. <laughs> Let's fucking act like, but no, I think they actually did catch the kids, but whatever. Oh, did they? Yeah. It almost had one of these feels. Yeah. Well, cause it said in that article, if you want to go back to it, that sure. the, the parents didn't, um, hadn't been like, uh, offered to help with anything or whatever, but also he can just say that. Now, somebody in there was saying this this reeks of an insurance scam. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Long described the three-day attack on the construction site as very malicious and violent, adding he didn't know the attackers, their parents, or motive, but the suspects were previously known to police and had little empathy afterwards. So he paid them to do it. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I've spent the last seven to ten years, seven years in the building process. I had saved, saved my money, saved materials, and put everything into this building. It's all self-funded. It's a labor of love. Ah, shut up. You're trying to make money off it. It's not love, you idiot. I mean, it kind of. You love beer because you're a fucking hipster or whatever dirt bag you're yeah. calling yourself. Let me look at this guy again. Yeah. Because, no, that's what we need more of yeah. is fucking mediocre breweries yeah. that everyone In, pretends are awesome for six months and then In forgets about. Goebbels, it. Like, Michigan. Yeah. Whatever, dude. I would have done the same thing. I actually commend these kids for stopping yet another shitty brewery mm-hmm. from being fucking... Yeah. You yeah, know, put out to the masses and fucking pushed onto the fucking populace. They were probably hired by like PBR or something. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, big beer. Yeah, just big <laughs> beer in general. Yeah, yeah, uh, big brewery. Yeah, we know how yeah. fucking cutthroat that is. That's how gangs do it. They use like the 13, 14 year olds because they can't be obvious life sentences and shit. You know? That's who'd so. be in my gang if I was back in the fucking old west. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of fucking 13 and 14 year old hoodlums just fucking hooting and hollering and fucking causing chaos and shooting up towns and you know well it, it looks like tom's it taking it too far again we'll see y'all next week <laughs> and then every time we do that we don't end it but then when we do end it we don't do that that's what i was thinking yeah, yeah. <laughs> really thrown for a loop yeah these um, people don't deserve our fucking uh so wait, is there, is there more of this liar story about Probably. this fucking brewery? Yeah, let's see <laughs> what he's got to say. Um, I've exhausted everything in this. First of all, this guy doesn't... Really? I mean, if that were true, you'd be starving to death. And also, like, it's not I've exhausted everything in this. Yeah. You've exhausted it with this or... or, or yeah. Within or like yeah, pursuing this. Yeah, I've pursuing this. Or, yeah, in, exactly. pursuance in pursuit of yeah. my dream. Yeah, this is my savings, my retirement. You know, we planned on moving forward this summer and getting things at least a soft opening available for this weekend. But at this point, it's, you know, it's not even recoverable. We're uninsured due to the prior thefts and vandalism. Oh, my God. At this point, it's a total loss for me. Oh, so it is not an insurance scam. This guy's fucked, man. Okay, well, he's still a liar. I mean, um, you know what, though? Here, you know what? Does he have a GoFundMe? That's what I was going to say. GoFundMe. You'll make fucking six hundred grand. People oh, if the like, story oh, goes around, he'll yeah, be better you'll, off. You'll in, be better in the long run. Yeah. In fact, maybe that's the scam. That's what I was saying in the yeah. Beginning. Maybe it's like, a GoFundMe scam. Wait a minute. You pay these kids off. Is this a thing? Oh, you do. People have done this plenty of times. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> there's there's been a bunch of them that have come out. But yeah, no, that's uh. And like, that, do you remember folks, there was that was when article? Tom finally concocted the idea that it'd get him put away forever. Do you remember there was an article going around? Um, it was a guy that what that had, like lost his car, and it was like he gets up at like three in the morning so he can walk like ten miles to work, and then walk all the way back, and he spends his whole day working and walking, and then they had like a go sounds fun. Thing. And uh, I know what more? Probably do you, in fantastic shape. What more do you want? Um, Good but, for you, Mortimer the liar. But no, it was like a guy that. Um, that you know then then, then raised like a hundred thousand dollars for him and stuff and it's like this idiot and then didn't buy a car like couldn't even figure out like any other plan other than i'll just walk like yeah. I mean, not even a bike yeah. not even anything yeah. it's a like dude, a skateboard uh, and now he's like handsomely rewarded for it you know i mean you don't remember that story i, want to see I don't I yeah really find quick. that yeah. real quick um i don't but i mean it sounds obviously real 
Um, now, here's another thing. I'd like to get the super spreader's opinion on the shadows behind this because I like them. Oh, here. Money raised for man who walked about 17 miles to work. There we go. Sorry. Okay. And let's hear this. Oh, wait. Is this the same guy? It must be. Um, for an Oklahoma man who used to walk about 17 miles to work every day, they raised $50,000. Um, <clears> I mean, that's pretty cool. But then again, what about everyone else that walks to work? I know. And also, but like, dude, you can't be this. Like, if you have to walk that far and you're too much of an asshole to even go to the thrift store and get a $5 bike. Yeah. Or, or borrow, take one. Borrow a bike, steal a bike. Yeah. Get even one roller skate would be doing yeah. better. You know what I mean? Just yeah. anything. Because then you could take one step and then glide. Get a and shopping one cart. Step and then glide. At least the downhill parts. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and then, yeah. Know? And the downhill parts one skate dude you're just fucking freestyling at that point you know what i mean oh wow so i try to look there's a bunch of these that have happened now see uh, that? yeah i remember the first time it worked and i just thought like what a fucking dick and you don't know like, you know what i mean like, yeah and they're like he's supporting his family of six and blah, blah blah well like if there's this many people invested you guys should be able to come up with some kind of fucking plan yeah. or solution you don't have anyone in your entire life that might be able to fucking help you out well that like, tells me you're you know, probably like, not an agreeable man yeah exactly if nobody's or, that you know is willing to help you in any capacity or you're proud to a fault or that and you got to consider your family yeah you know yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. get off your fucking lay your pride to the side in uh, you know in the interest of your family for fuck's sake right what are you doing God um, damn it, these anyways, people, fuck, you know? Yeah, fuck. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a whole <sighs> bunch of these. Anyways, yeah. Now, Connie says, okay, Tom, LOL, maybe you do need therapy, haha, after the couch burning thing. That was not me. Hold on, wait, that's the thing that made you think maybe, <laughs> by the way, maybe? <laughs> you might want to address some issues. Um, 